All right, we have the Keystone Alpine set up like this. Big old kitchen up front. There's the fifth, the uh, fifth wheel pin. And you've got a Samsung um, refrigerator. And your ice doesn't work because there's a bunch of valves. Make sure ice is on first. And what you do is remove that bolt and that bolt, pull it out, and there's a, a three quarter turn or one quarter turn valve behind there. And under here, you can either get it from here. This is the more direct access, but there's another valve there that you gotta turn on and off. But I got it from here. Here's what the valve looks like. Let's see if I can turn the light on. But if you're looking for that valve, make sure it's on like that. And then there's a valve outside that you need to make sure is turned off. That is your drain valve. Let me go find it real quick and I'll be right back. All right, now we're outside on the driver's side front jack. There is a drain valve that you have to get all the way underneath. And it's right, where's it at? It's somewhere around here. There it is. There, make sure this is off. But that's how you drain uh, for winterizing it. But right now I have water and uh, should have ice. There's a trick to make sure your machine or your little mechanisms work. So hold tight. Okay, and to make sure everything is copacetic, oh, you get your ice machine and there's a little button under here you can fill it and you just hold it and then it'll just go through a cycle sorry for the noise that's it uh, yeah it's the twisty one uh, hold tight shit here water there we go awesome i've got my ice going and that should help get yours going as well yeah there's a nice little sticker right there saying that there's a valve under here but there isn't but again bolts one valve there two screws there there another valve and then there's one at the foot Make sure that's off. And then when you winterize it, make sure those are off and that one's on so you can drain it. There you go. This took me two weeks to figure out.